Welcome to a new update. We had critical planetary and lunar geometry on the 10th. I explained that in detail in previous updates. I'm not going to do that here again. Let's have a look at the seismic activity that we had so far. Yesterday, a magnitude 5.8 at Vanuatu. That seems to be an aftershock of the magnitude 7 earthquake that we had a couple of days ago in that region. We also had a 5.9 borderline 6 on the southern east Pacific rise and just this morning a magnitude 5.5, 5.6 at Coquimbo, Chile. We picked up an atmospheric fluctuation yesterday night and that seems to point on the opposite side of the planet more or less. From the Kuril Islands in the north down to New Guinea we see Japan, Bonin Islands, Mariana Islands, Guam region and maybe even uh, Australia or south of Australia but that usually doesn't result in very large seismic activity however the Kuril Islands, Japan, maybe even Kamchatka that could be the next location for larger seismic activity in light of the critical planetary and lunar geometry that we had on the 10th. We don't know for sure how large the seismic activity is going to be, if there is going to be a real seismic increase following this specific geometry with the planets and the moon. But like I said earlier, we have seen pretty large seismic activity with this kind of planetary configuration. In a worst case scenario, it could go up to a high 7 to borderline 8 magnitude earthquake. The atmospheric fluctuation seems to be a little bit to the east relative to the fluctuation that we had two times on the 3rd and 5th and that was followed by a magnitude 7.6 in the band I see right where the purple band actually was. Sometimes we have fluctuations that do not seem to result in really large seismic activity. Again, we are dealing with nature and if there is something unpredictable, it is nature. We have that with the weather forecast just the same. We are not always right. Nature will always be unpredictable to a certain extent. So we could be very wrong and, uh, with our estimates. So let's see what's going to happen in the next two, three days, 12, 13, 14th, probably the most critical. If we take into account the latest fluctuation, there is a slight possibility that larger seismic activity will occur with the next lunar peak. That would be around 16th, 17th, but I think that is less likely. So far, the 12, 13, 14th seem to be the most critical days relative to the critical planetary and lunar geometry. Mm -hmm.